Welcome, oh anime lily fans. How you guys doing? Legendary fans, as always. Sam the Manga Man. And we're here to do a live reaction of Fairy Tale Hundred Year Quest, Chapter Fifty. Oh, I'm about to say Fifty Five. I don't know why. Chapter Fifty One, Roaring Earth. And I'm very curious about this chapter um, because of the way last week we left off Sam with um, the Moon God Dragon and her, what's her connection with the White Toka. That's what I'm curious about the most. With that, the way that transition in and her design, very curious about that. I'm more curious about how much Algeron can do with his powers. Like what, since he's no longer trapped in his sealed, I wonder how much more powerful he can be and how much destruction he's going to do, even though this was all within the Moon Dragon's plan. Yeah, that's very um, interesting. Um, and also, Adron fully woke up and now is, you know, the people are helping him, you know, the like plant kind of nutrition humans for his body. So I'm really curious. Like, there were his seeds? His you know? seeds? Or his trees? His nutrients? I don't know. Very there, really, there were his trees that helps give some energy. His powers yeah. are leaking out. And he creates seeds. They were like citizens. They were like his last minute resort. If the orbs broke, they will they will be his seeds to regenerate something like that. So break break like yourself how Andre wakes up right there. So let's get further with the chapter and actually have a discussion with how the series of this chapter go in the review section. So time go will be in the bottom for that. And tell us your thoughts in the comments section below where Sam is pointing. Give us your feedback about it. Join the Discord server as well. And like the video as well. Glad I appreciate you know that we entertain you. And say, so what do they do else? Subscribe. If you want more anime lily content, because why not? We're freaking awesome. And also press the bell notification if you want to be notified every time we upload our 25 videos a week. And other than that, let's get straight with the first page of Ajahn waking up. We have the fairy tale guild running and, um, you know, trying to escape, um, and, you know, from Ajahn and his towns. All right, more of the fairy tale member. I don't know why that one has a broom up his butt, but all right. That's pretty Moonlight. curious. Um, our drawn is literally right back city church, city church. Yo, that whole city's about to just fall right now. That's crazy. Jesus. Uh, we have Natsu, and we have Wendy. Did every control by the white, uh, by the white wizard turned back to normal? I don't know how, but it appears her magic was lifted. More importantly, I know I will now separate the white wizard and Tolka. Um, separation enchanted. All right, they're separating. Um, Irene said, Let me your strength. Irene, he's like, What you mean, girl? No, don't mind that. Don't worry about that. First Ignore. Of all, is this a really good time, especially when Algeron just like move? Ah, okay, some weird moves. Now they are fully separated. I just felt like she did like the whole matrix pose. Whew. Think of the way she just has her whole back like that. All right, they're separated. This plane to two people. What well done, Wendy? And then something. I think Wendy oh, lost some air. I don't know. Uh, and then, um, you know, it's all collapsing. This place is crumbling as well. We gotta hurry and get and get Toka out of here. Okay, Natsu saves the white mage Toka. Natsu, you're taking her too. It's not like I want to. I just don't know what her deal is. That's she says true. she want would seal Algeron by destroying your orbs, but destroying the orbs awaken Algeron. Um, okay, the whole the whole city collapsed. Um, happy Carla, get Toka and the White Wizard as far as you can from here. It looks it looks like when you use up her magic, go with her. What about you? I got I got a job to do here. Dragon extermination. Okay, oh. so he, he wants. You know what? I'm not surprised. Not to loves to fight. Okay, so. but the design of Adron is freaking fleek. The detail in the town in that. That shit. The town is around um, left and right arm. You can see a bit, and the shoulder and the back. Yeah, that shit looks freaking fire. He looks like a steamy. Wow. All right, Natsu goes around, looks up. Oh wait, is that a blue Pegasus? Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, Guillotina's Magic Council and MNP Mir. So that ancient monster has finally awakened. We have been authorized to attack. Oh, oh they're rushing for P. Yeah, okay. Tremendous Operation Wood Dragon God Suppression. Ready to fire. Ready to fire! And the 23rd Division Chief Roberts. All magical convergence canyon. Uranus, Gunpoint are all at critical point. Fire. 
Well, I don't know. What, what if they're kind of these... new and random people? Well, yeah, what I feel like they're Russian and German soldiers. That's what I feel like. You know what they remind me of? The, the, the Order from Star Wars. Literally with all the ships and everything. I can see that with the way they came in, with their ships flying and everything. I can see that. So we have here, they're all firing, which a nice panel as well. A nice job. What is that? What is this magic power? The light. Eek! The magical. Uh, the magical convergence um, cannon in Jupiter. No, if the magical power is greater, uh, that they have something that strong. Everyone, get down. Whew. All right, they headshot Algeron, makes multiple explosion, and apparently nothing phased him. He's just exhaled. And he grew out. Blew up another tree from the ground. Oh no, he just put out a whole tree, mm. took out a whole ship, a tree. A tree just grew from the ground into the sky. No, not just one tree. We got dozens of trees. Ship number seven destroyed. Number 12, 13 destroyed. What the hell's happening? Um, you guys really underestimated a freaking god dragon. That's what the fuck happened. Okay, that's a very nice panel shot of Algeron using his trees, destroying all the ships that's there. All right, all the flips get destroyed. Um, ships are falling down, just like it did in Castlevania with all those dead bodies and humans. Um, not so, uh, and a complete annihilation. No shit, sure, like you should not notice right, that. So. Go to a volcano area. A human weapon ain't gonna work on a god of dragons. Oh, you must be quite angry, Aldo Chan. Very well, I'll give you this world. Feel free to destroy it all because she got the moon. Oh. That is very true, but to see our man, whoo, he looks good in that panel. Oh, that's the end of the live reaction. I didn't know that was a panel. <laughs> that's the panel, guys. So, live reaction and for chapter 51. Uh, what I gotta say, the panel for this, oh, uh, for sorry, the panels for this chapter of Adrian were fleek, was freaking amazing, right, Sam? I agree. The artworks and panels that they've done in details, Hiramashima, of course, always does blows you away with its artistics. But I feel, I can't help but feel it was like a throw off. It, like you, you have to see how powerful Eldron is. That's and what most yeah, likely that's what it I, was. Like, that's what I was asking for. But how you do it is literally give some random Russian army with their ships trying to attack Eldron. And just, of course, Eldron. So wipes them out. Like, I do agree 100% with what you're saying that it felt random. But the interesting part about these um characters that felt random, they announced what they were. They are the they're the anti Adrian group. Um, they like, they're the they're the army that waits for Adrian to wake up and take them out. They're dumb as to really expect to go in with almost 20, I would say 50, 100 ships to go in and take out a a freaking Goliath god dragon beast that the size of bigger than mountains and not they only that it. they had so much time to fight algeron while he was at, at that moment sealed they could have done so much other stuff made better weapons maybe better technology at least a much stronger flamethrower or some kind of fire meteor thing because you're fighting against wood have some fire Get some gasoline and a lot of gasoline and fire to burn the hell out of that tree of so, god dragon. I gotta say, chapter, I'm sorry, not chapter, page 11, page 15, and page 17. Sorry, page 11, page 15, and page 17 were freaking amazing. I see the art for those three, and it's amazing. But my favorite panel is just to see um, Ignea. And the moon god dragon said, human weapon ain't gonna work on a god of dragons. And she said, you must be quite angry, Ado Chan. I'm more so I'll give you this world. Ignea is not going over there just to fight Algeron. Or maybe he's just interested to see if his brother Natsu can take down Algeron, of course. You got it right on the nail, my man. That's why I see it happening, because that's why I see why uh, Ignea said, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna sure do nothing. Can, we can actually see where not to like, all right, I gotta ask, I gotta get used, enhance my brother, inherit my brother's flames that I've eaten and use that same power to fight Algeron. That's but what I hope to enough? see. That's a different story. That's what I hope to see because there's no way the fairy tale guild, only the only, the only part that could actually defeat Algeron is not so with his brother's flames. Yep, if he don't it. use that, there's no way to take Adron out. And right now, we know he's angry because the way the Moon God Dragon said, you must be quite angry, Adron. So she's definitely angry. And I want to see, is he going to cause havoc, destroy, or maybe he's going to calm down after this because maybe the power of friendship or something. But so far right now, 
I don't see anything happening like that at the moment it's unless weird. we get a little spin. So I don't like know. Algeron is like he's not like he you can't communicate or can't like he's not part human. He's not able to communicate with people or understand. He seems more like a those typical dragons that you see in other Isik guys or other action adventure video games where they're just monsters. They don't have a conscious mind. They'll just cause havoc and wreak destruction. And that's what I'm sort of getting with Algeron. The way Algeron reminds me of Fernbird, Avatar, the last airbender at the end of the season, we had the, the turtle, lion the lion turtle. So okay. I feel like this lion, uh, I feel like Algeron has the anger, the rage because he's the big humongous man of the life. But inside his mind, he reminds me of some type of lion turtle. I'm just presuming and assuming uh, what I could assume or what that theory is, where, where it's going. Maybe he has that kind of type of mindset. If you don't bother him, he has that type of whoosha. But if you bother him, he has that. Um, I don't think so. When you've been trapped for so long and we don't know how or why he was trapped or sealed, mm, he might be very, very angry. I mean, so you're thing, saying, so you're saying that he has a type of insane type of mentality, like where you trap in the type of asylum where you, where you're by yourself for so long and you finally wake up, you just and go berserk. It's more like you can move every every day for uh, once every day for like the next how many years? Makes sense. And remember, all these people, the citizens, they didn't seem to mind it, and yeah, of because course, it makes sense because it's part of him. Yes, but that the thing makes is sense. that. It's like you've been in this situation for a very long time. You have no conscience. All the people that you've literally seen, you help bring to life, all have their own personal life and conscience and all that weird stuff in it. And now, like, what's there to left? You're you're the title of Wood God Dragon, and you have an entire world. I mean, our world is thirty percent of the entire world is made of earth, and seventy percent is water. But still, like. That's still a lot of Earth. That's yeah. still a lot of a big planet. Definitely is. You, you're definitely not wrong at all. So it's definitely fascinating. It's definitely interesting to know what he's going to do. What is his steps? What is his goals? What is he going to try to accomplish? Or is he, or is he going to be stopped? So I'm very curious about this. So on my end, I'm good. No thoughts, no theories. How about you, Sam? Are you good on your um, end? One more thing. Um, yeah, go ahead. Literally, the whole clue is that like human weapons can't work. The only, fu- only thing that can fight our drone is, of course, the dragon slayers, Natsu, and whatever dragons that they're coming to fight. Because it seems like Ignea is not going to come to help. Moon Dragon is not going to help. And isn't there one more god dragon left? Because I know the water guy is gone. Uh, at the moment, I forgot. I know it's the wood, the moon, the fire, and the water is gone. And I think it's one more. Uh, damn, I can't remember the on top of my head. So if you guys want to touch in the comment section to remind us. Light or something like that? Um, I don't remember. No, can I remember? Yeah. Nope. Yeah, can't remember the top of my head. So you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, guys. So last week I started about it. in the comments section, um, in the comments section below. Give us your thoughts. Give us your feedback. Do not do too sorry to talk about more fairy tale, some type of theory, some type of comics, some type of you know yeah, where's it that. going. Let us know in the comments section below. And join the Discord. Like the video as well. Glad to appreciate it. To know that we entertain you. And also, if you want more anime content, subscribe. If you want more anime content, glad to appreciate it. And also press that bell notification to be notified if you want um you know for our videos. Other than that, guys. See you next time. Other than Peace. that, take care.